Considering the fact that Warhammer 40k was originally supposed to be Warhammer Fantasy in space, doesn't that mean there should be a race of space dwarves? Believe it or not, that actually used to be a thing. These guys were known as the Squats, and the reason they're not around anymore is sad, tragic, and if I'm being honest, kinda dumb. Now, unlike the dwarves in Fantasy, the Squats were not a completely separate species. They had the same DNA as humans and belonged to a group known as Abhumans. The humans that would eventually become the Squats ended up settling on a bunch of worlds that were near the galaxy's center, meaning they were right next to a supermassive black hole and were subject to enormous levels of gravity. And although these worlds were incredibly dangerous, they were also home to seemingly infinite supplies of natural resources. And at this point in time, humanity had basically stripped all the resources from Earth. So settling in such a place was a risk they were willing to take. However, during the Age of Strife, massive anomalies known as warp storms basically cut them off from the rest of humanity. And over thousands of years, that high level of gravity caused them to take on a shorter and stockier frame. Squats stood around four to five feet tall on average, but with far denser bones and muscles than a normal human. Now, eventually the Age of Strife would end, and the Squats would be reunited with the rest of mankind. That being said, they had basically declared independence, meaning they would trade with the Imperium, but they were not part of them. Supposedly, the Squats were incredibly shrewd traders, and it was said that the slightest offense would be held as a grudge pretty much indefinitely, because they're dwarves, and the dwarves love their grudges. In battle, it was said that the technology of the Squats rivaled that of even the Adeptus Mechanicus, and the Squats utilized a seriously impressive array of firepower. Not to mention they had a particular fondness of bikes and earth-shattering legions of artillery. They also had probably one of the coolest war machines in all of 40k. Goddamn land trains. These things were massive mobile battle fortresses. They were basically repurposed mining equipment that were then upgraded to have an absolute metric ton of guns. And I get that you may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. All of the worlds that the squats controlled at the galaxy's core were collectively referred to as the homeworlds, and all of the people and cities of these worlds were broken up into what were known as strongholds. You can think of each of the strongholds as a self-governing nation. However, those strongholds would confederate into larger groups known as leagues. This gave the strongholds a larger voice when it came to politics. There were around 700 leagues, and the largest of which was the League of Thor, which had around 300 strongholds within it. Grudges and full-blown wars between the leagues were not uncommon. The glue that ended up holding all of the leagues together were what were known as guilds. The guilds were groups that had members from every single league, and each one focused on a different science or trade skill. Mining, engineering, biology, if you can think of it, there was probably a guild for it. The guilds basically allowed it so all of the squads could benefit from any technological breakthrough they achieved. I mean, they believed that no matter what grudges they may have, technology and research should be available to all squats. So if the squats were this fleshed out, what ended up happening to them? The short answer is that Games Workshop wanted 40k to take on an identity of its own, and wanted to distance it from its fantasy origins. There was an interview where they basically said they felt they didn't do the squats justice. The dwarves were a proud and awesome race, and they felt like everything they had made for the squats, including their name, just kind of felt like they were making fun of them. They came up with some nonsense saying they were all eaten by Tyranids. 